just like light and dark cannot occupy the same space, fear and love cannot occupy the same space. Where there is love, there can be no fear. How we interact with people is one way of spreading either love or fear, even when we don't know the people. This past week, I shared a post with something in some interesting insights on Facebook from the host of The Daily Show and some of the responses that our president and other men were having to the accusations of sexual assault made against Kavanaugh. An interesting and respectful discussion emerged, which ended in my posting, to everyone who posted here, I appreciate your willingness to engage in dialogue. The only way we're going to begin to solve the problems in our nation and the world is by deeply listening to each other and then speaking in a way that we can be heard. Thank you all. One man replied, I agree. Actually, it seems we agree on more things than we disagree on. I found this to be very hopeful. A ray of light in the form of understanding had come into the darkness of accusations. It gave me hope that when we come with an open heart, respect, and a willingness to listen, we can learn from each other and find common ground. With that in mind, I encourage you to vote in the November elections. 